that was like, hey, here's a little town over here at the bottom of Florida where smuggling's a way of life, and these guys are having a ball. With all the evident newfound wealth here, residents and local law enforcers want to know why the IRS hasn't come to Everglades City in mass to ask some tough questions about where all the money came from. But the IRS says it has manpower problems. And as one federal law enforcer says, where the hell is Everglades City anyway? The Collier County Sheriff, uh, Audrey Rogers, got in touch with us and said that he had he believed he had a problem in Everglades City and it was very difficult for Aubrey Rogers to penetrate the marijuana smuggling that was going on there. Uh, it is a small community. Most of the people are related uh, in some way. It was just that type of a close-knit community that, that created the problem. He came to DEA and said, can you launch an undercover probe to try to penetrate this town and identify those individuals smuggling marijuana? One of their allegations was that the planes are flying over the Everglades kicking bales out. And it's actually dangerous for the campers and the hunters that they can be killed by a flying bale. I made an arrangement to go camping the Everglades. That night, about 11.30, 12 o'clock, we were out and four planes buzzed us, one of which kicked out a bale that must have landed about 40, 50 yards from us. They made their point. We started working with them, ended up in a task force operation and uh, supplied them with undercover operatives. We took one of the DEA speedboats that had just recently been seized. We took it over there. We drove up to the captain's table. We went to eat dinner. We were there more than 15 minutes, and we got our first reaction. A Collier County officer approached our table and asked us what we were doing there and what do we, what was our plans for the weekend. We, we basically gave him a wise answer. We were uh, there to fish for grouper. He just came out and told us, you're not going to do any fishing here. And, by the way, if you were looking for grouper, he could probably get it at a better price than we could get it in Miami. Uh, they introduced me to two Anglos at the bar, told them to take me out and get me some grouper. We drove up a dark road. We got out. They took some flashlights. There was a little mini mountain in front of me, about 10, 15 feet tall, that had tarps over it. They pulled the tarps back, and there were bales of marijuana there. He said, go pick one. Told me I owed him $10,000. Took the bail back over to DEA headquarters in Miami and explained it was just about as open as you can get over there, including the substation appeared to be, you know, part of the problem. As time went on, they started trusting us to be used as offloaders, boat handlers, transporters, and any of the functions that needed to be accomplished during the process of moving the drugs from the ocean up to out of Florida. Went in, took over a fish house, and, and uh, manned the operation. And uh, I guess to the discontent of some of the agents that had to deal with the, the fish house and, and the handling of the mullet and whatever else it came in, it uh, probably wasn't the most attractive assignment they ever had. I guess it was a little difficult for young, aggressive agents to be locked in a camper in Everglades City taking pictures of young rednecks going back and forth in their pickup trucks. And it was just uh, a little boring compared to what was happening on the streets of Miami. Freaking DEA was all this freaking town, you know? And they were embedded in everything that was going on. You had to be careful. There was a lot of people that I freaking didn't trust. That was their downfall, accepting outsiders. We became uh, quite impressed with the quantities that they were bringing into Everglades City and the individuals involved and the fact that everybody in the town was involved. I was told through family members, let's say, to get out of Dodge before it turned to Tombstone. And I left here. Then they came before sunrise, the FBI and DEA. They took everyone and they locked him up. And that was the end of the game. This family would never be the same. 200 federal agents slipped into Everglades City, Florida during the night, and today they began making drug arrests. Before the sun rose over the Florida Everglades this morning, federal agents and local police quietly surrounded Everglades City, stopping all cars going in and out. They blocked off the whole town. They had police out on the 